Hey, did you send this picture um, to us? This morning. I sent it this morning hmm. in the email. You didn't get it? I didn't get it. Yeah. Anybody get it? No, I didn't get it. Oh. I got it. You did? I got it. Yes. It's a sketch. Yes. I got it. Uh, my sketch is so thank So I'd like to welcome everyone to our Zoom meeting. We're going to be painting Clayton's boat. Hi, Elaine. There, can you can see it now, huh? Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, there's my sketch. It's sketched with water-soluble ink, and the pelicans are sketched with a regular pencil. I'm going to use some PVO and do the white part of this boat. So this is dilute shampoo that I just put on my good brush. And this is my PDO. I'm going to use PDO on this little boat, the one that he goes in and out from. And this bar here, I'll point to it on the I'll point to it on the picture. That bar there is white, so that'd be good to use PDO on. That pelican I, I did not put in the picture. And then I'm just gonna use a little. Just want to do the parts of this boat that are white. I think that's a motor sticking up right there. And I'm not sure what all this is. I'm really not sure what anything is. So I'm sort of just painting shapes, really not knowing what they are. It looks like there's the two, I don't know if these are just little boats that are filled with things. That's my guess. Hard to see sometimes on these really detailed pictures. And since I am not a boat person, I'm not really familiar with what everything is. So I just kind of. You paint underneath oh. the hull. What is that? That big blob underneath the hull. That one? Yeah. I think that is a boat next to the boat. Oh, I don't have that on my picture. Okay. Full of stuff. Okay, I don't have that on my picture, so. I'd leave it out anyway. Yeah. Okay, see, but I like all the stuff. That's what's, that's what's fascinating to me is like all the stuff. I think it's wonderful. That he has his spot and his stuff. So I'm gonna put it in. And you guys can simplify it and put as few things in as you want, or as many. Okay, at least maybe two. I wonder if I shouldn't put a line down the mast. Just because 
I think that's water. You know what I should do? Ah, I got a better idea. Okay, I'm gonna my brush out. Those, that's a dark mask. So what I'm gonna do is use a regular pencil and put the line in with the regular pencil. And then that way, when I use the water, it'll still be there when I... Yeah, great. Cute. So I'm going to start with the sky because that's... Um, this is a little bit damp still, so... Let me PBL away. Rinsed out my brush. I'm using my half inch brush. I could use a three quarter inch though. It works the same at this size. Can you hear me okay? Mm -hmm. Good. All right, so we have to decide what kind of sky we're going to do. Regular old blue or fog or. Mm. You guys are all sky queens now. <laughs> so you can pick whatever sky you want. I've been doing a lot of uh, the same sky forever, which is French ultramarine blue at the top, and then it's kind of switching to a little bit of Antwerp near the bottom. If it's too, well, I don't know. Let's see. I've been using some cerulean also. That's kind of, that, so that's a little cerulean with Antwerp. So I've, I've changed my mind and I've gone to cerulean and Antwerp. Okay, I'm gonna start at the top. The cerulean uh, granulates, so you can see it right away just starts to make the, kind of the bubbly look. And I can paint over those birds. They didn't disappear. And now I'm down here and it looks like there's a bit of fog. So, so most of the time, the darkest color's at the top and then it gets lighter as it comes down. But today, it's darker near the bottom because of the fog bank. Then the ocean. What color shall I do the ocean? Blue. Blue, yeah, Eleanor. <laughs> Eleanor <laughs> teasing me all, all this weekend. And you're painting blue? <laughs> <laughs> So here we go, there's blue. That's French, and that's Antwerp. And I think a mixture of the two is pretty good ocean color. I'm not gonna wet this. And now remember, I'm not painting that back boat. I left it out. So I just have this, this one boat. So I'm gonna leave a little, that doesn't really matter. I'm gonna just leave a little spot there. If I touch it, I think it'll be fine. It'll kind of blend up, but it's, I'm gonna put the breakwater in. So I'm just, I'm painting with the side of my brush. Oh, I didn't, I didn't PBO this. This has got a name. The, it's the um, the sail cover. I had to go around it because I didn't PBO it. And I'm trying to make little all my water. I'm trying to make with flat lines. Now it's easy because I can go over the PBO. Glad I did that. Okay. 
Ooh. Oops. Well, that'll be okay. I said oops because I painted on the boat, but the boat's going to be dark right there. So and the ocean's light. I'm going to use a little more water down below. Just added water to that. It's all the same color. I just went over my boat again. I'm going to sign it. My super signer. I've been good. I've remembered to sign them all so far. That was your goal, wasn't it? It was one of my goals. Yep. <laughs> I just heard Arlene's voice. I'm May Kay. I'm here. <laughs> can you see me? Yes, I can now. Hello. Welcome. Oh, hello. <laughs> Very good. I'm going to put you on all on gallery view. All righty. Are you guys, is it pinned? No, it's not pinned. Because I went to gallery view. All right. That's oh, pinned. Hmm. View. Okay, go back to there. All righty. So, I think I'm going to. If this is this is getting drier, I think what will happen if I put in my my breakwater. So the breakwater, I've been making my own sepia this whole series because that sepia out of the tube is staining and I can't ever lift it if I have a problem. So I've been making my own sepia with burnt sienna and French ultramarine blue. I'm gonna start this breakwater out here at the corner and see if it's gonna bleed. Excuse me, Mary Kay, a minute. What blue did you say you were using? French ultramarine blue. Okay, got it. And uh, burnt sienna. And okay. then that makes my sepia. Okay. My nice dark brown. Thank you. I'll try the breakwater over here too. It goes crazy, then I can. So it's just a pile of rocks, the breakwater. There's some light areas and some dark areas. So I just did dot in a bunch of brown dots. And I go back in later when it's a little bit drier. And put in some other darks. I can see figures on top. That might be good. sort of all the same color. I'll have to go back in. I wanted to leave some highlights. So there's definitely highlights in these in the breakwater. Whoops, I just made that part tall. Sometimes I think I can see a little bit of the ocean out there, but I'm gonna not worry about that right now. Okay, I am going to dry this off. I'm looking at it and I'm seeing these the white streaks that I left in there 
And I almost think that those are going to detract from the boat. So I think I should fill them in. What's going on right here though? The... Ah! I just filled it in with uh, sepia. <laughs> Try that again. Yeah, if I put, I put, that was dry and I put this layer over it and so it filled them in, but, so they're not white, but they have a nice lighter color to them. I like that. That's better. Okay. I'm going to do a quick dry again. Mary Kay, could you make your painting larger? Yeah, okay, that's, yeah, I like that better. Does everyone else like that better? Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is take off the PBO. And I'm just gonna have a white boat now, pretty much. And it's start. Oh. <laughs> Boy, this, this is one of the problems with PDF, is if you make a mistake like this, it's really hard to fill in. So what I'm going to, I'm just going to try to fill it in, but not paint around it. And hopefully that won't show up too much when we, when I get going. So I'm going to make just the shadow of French ultramarine blue and burnt sienna, and that makes that nice blue gray. You can see, oh, you can't see it because you can't see my palette. I'm gonna lift it up just a little bit so you can see my palette. Okay. And the picture. What color was was the shade French? This 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 dark blue right here is French ultramarine blue, and a little bit of burnt sienna, okay. but not as but it's more blue. So you can uh, vary the two amounts of that and get. You can either make it black or dark blue. So. This is that railing. Mm -hmm. I can't see where any of these marks are. So I have a little trick though. I'm gonna show you my little trick. Ah, are you guys only D's on a big time schedule, right? Yeah, that's it. No worries. Okay. So here's the trick that I have. When I sketched this, I made two tiny little marks on this piece of paper, which line up perfectly right here and here.
So now I can go back in and draw on it again and it will be right in the, the right spot. Can you see those two little marks? Mm -hmm. Barely, right? And I line them up perfectly, then I can go in and... Very nice. I can sketch this again. So now I know where those little, the little folks that Terry's leaving out. I guess I'm leaving it out because it's not Clay's boat. <laughs> I don't think it is. Hopefully close though. Maybe it is. Not sure what this thing is. It's something though. Is it anything that holds a fishing pole? I, I have no idea. I just don't know boats at all. Is it an antenna? Mm, I, I have no idea. It's a thing. It's <laughs> just a thing. It's thing. It's it, it. Let's see if I'm... Okay, good. I want to get that. Okay, and then here's... That's the cabin. Windows, window. How much room inside? Four people, six. What, Terry? I wonder if it's a four or a six person placed in the cabin. <coughs> inside. All right, I'm gonna go with that. Now I'm just gonna fill in, gonna paint by numbers. <laughs> okay. All right, now I can see where this goes. This is the And then there's a little bit of darkness right there where it hits the water. Dark. And what goes on here? And sometimes I just kind of get bored and start sort of just flopping color down because I. Sometimes I just don't have the patience. Sometimes I don't know what it is. Sometimes I have a lot of patience and can just spend hours doing it all perfectly. But yeah. well, did you get your tennis in this morning? No. Oh, ah. <laughs> I um I've been playing singles and the the gals. Um, so I'm the substitute, and they they were all well and healthy and not traveling, so I got bumped. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe that's why you don't have any patience. Yeah. You didn't get your phone. <laughs> in. I think I'm going to put in the, the obvious sail and the mast and... I don't know that you guys want to watch me paint all these little details. Okay, so what color is that mast cover? It's kind of a bright blue. It looks like manganese, blue hue to me, with some French. So as Eleanor would say, it's blue. And it's kind of striped. There's little stripes in it. I don't know, if, is that the cover really kind of falling off? I 
think it sags because it's tied on. Hmm. And I see a darker blue at the bottom, so it's in shadow at the bottom there. So I'll do a little more French with a little bit of burnt sienna at the bottom of this, and hopefully it's wet enough it'll blend up. There's a little bit of shadow in the white part. There, that helps. I think what I'm going to do is put in the mask. I'm going to put it in using a ruler. I'm going to line it up. I'm going to get the dark blue, which is the French with some burnt sienna, the same blue that I tried to make for the shadow right there. Touch my paper towel and I'm going to just be brave and <laughs> it even sort of made a bobble at the top for me. Great. That was easy. There, this right here is the cabin and the top of it's white that I just made blue. I went too far down with my mask, so I covered it up. So it should be nice and white right there. Okay. Uh, the all of the rigging. I think what we should use to do the rigging is a rigger brush. <laughs> it's what they're designed for. So that's a rigger brush. It's a skinny, long brush. I'm going to use the same colors, French, with a little bit of. Burnt sienna, so it's just this nice dark blue. Now, you, I guess you just have to decide if your hand is steady enough. Mm -hmm. You can just wing, start winging the rigging, or if you want to put your ruler down and line it up. So, this one goes from the this one here goes from the top to here. That seems like a pretty important line, so I'm going to use my straight edge with my rigger brush and make a skinny little line from here to here. Oh, my goodness. Too perfect, maybe. And then there's the two bars that are coming down, and it goes from, might be better if I just start doing these freehand now. So it goes from here to here. So I'm gonna give this a shot. Oh, I gotta touch the paper. <laughs> and then it goes, I don't know where this goes, but it kind of goes down from here. Same thing over here, from here to here. Now one of the things if you're painting and the, if your line skips, see how I, I painted it and then it skipped and then I caught it here? I don't fill those back in because when you're looking at things that are that skinny, a lot of times they are disappearing in your eyes and, the, and your eye will fill it in. So the line doesn't, you don't have to go back in and get that solid. That's really hard to fix. So like that, I just mucked up there, but I like it a little bit looser than the perfect lines. To me, it's, I like it better. This is, um, I think it's a cord with plastic over it. So I'm going to kind of um, shadow it goes clear to the mast. I'm going to 
attach it to there. It's tricky because this back boat has a mast with all of those and that's not part of this rigging. So I have to figure out what parts in the in this this boat and the other one. Clayton, did you call me? Nope, false alarm. Okay. So I'm just gonna keep going till you guys get bored. You want that was my ruler. Shall I put in the um, birds? Yes. So here's the picture of the pelicans. <laughs> I just think they're amazing, these, these creatures. They dive in and they make the splashes. So now when I look at this picture here, I can see that they're dark. It's really the same two colors. It's burnt sienna and French ultramarine blue. And I'm going to put a little bit more burnt sienna in it and a lot of pigment so that I get sort of a brownish black. They're brown pelicans. I hope my point on my brush is good. And then they, to me, they look like mosquitoes. <laughs> the way their little beaks point down. So, and then, and they have little, they're, I don't know my birds that well, but these, they have those uh, like fingery wing, um, feathers at the tips of their wings. So I'm gonna try to get those in. And I want to leave that little, oh, I kind of muffed it up. I didn't really leave it in. There's a little opening I was hoping to get in. Fingers at the tops. I didn't paint it in solid, so there looks like there's a few highlights. I do want his little mosquito nose, though, to be a little darker. And then this guy up here, the little wing, those little feathers, I'll have to go look up what the name of those are. This one, I'm going to try to leave that little, there's a little notch. You can see the sky through. I'll cut that in. That one I left in better. There's a little bit of highlight on its back. So, then it's mosquito head. It's got its little pouch hanging. I want that last tiny little bit on this wing to be a flick. <laughs> now it's really long, so it has a flick. Shall I keep going? Yeah. I'm running away, but thank you, Mary Kay. Okay, Dee. Good luck with tennis. Have fun. Okay, thanks. Bye. So it, I think this painting's really, it's coming together. I can see it in the computer screen. Mm -hmm. Words look nice. Yeah, the birds, the birds turn out. You can, yeah. I, I like really them. like the pelicans in these paintings. I like the flip you put in the right wing of the top bird. <laughs> it makes it long, but I do like the little flick too. <laughs> <laughs> so I think um, the rocks need another layer, so there's some darks in them. I need to keep working on the boats to start filling in the details, but it's, it's really, it's, it's coming along. So shall I continue painting on the video or shall I stop the video? I think you should finish. Okay. Yeah, you finish. Alrighty then. I'll keep going. I'm going to paint this little boat now. It's blue. <laughs> <laughs> what a surprise. It's hard to make the blues all different so that you can see them. I think I'm going to try to put a little bit of manganese blue hue into this. I don't like that. I'm going to try 
um, cerulean. Yeah, I like that better. I'm going to try this cerulean here. That's brighter. Well, there's a little bit of highlight that I just painted over it. Let's see if I can lift that. Mm -hmm. It says hi. She's looking for her mom. Okay, so I got that lifted. The back of the bow. The shadow is almost always the French with the little bit of burnt sienna. That makes a really nice shadow. So there's just right under the back of this is a little bit of shadow. I wonder how that boat would have looked red. I mean, the There's a red boat with the, oh, you, it would be good to make this one red. The mm -hmm. red boat goes with the boat behind it that I didn't put in. Mm -hmm. But it would be good. That would be, that would be good. Just paint it red. Because then there's a, something else to look at, something different. And then put a little bit of red someplace else. You need, if you put in one red boat, you need to have three, two other little dots of it someplace else. Does that boat have any reflectors on it? Reflectors? Yeah. Reflections in the water? No. On a boat, sometimes it has like a red or a green or it has, you know, like a car does. I have no idea. Because I know... I know so little about boats. It's one thing I never had was a boat. I'm just going to block that and smudge it up a little bit and kind of go whatever. I like the illusion on the big boat. It feels like, like the hull is going out as it should. And it's winding at the top. Good, like that. Mm -hmm. Okay, this needs some color on it or something, or the, I didn't quite get the ocean around it very well. I didn't use the PBO perfectly, that's what really happened. So I'm gonna go to extend that a little bit. And then there's some. All right. I'm going to put a little bit of shadow or a little bit of uh, ripples below it in the water. Mm -hmm. That helped. Of course, it's white right there. I'm going to put, ah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to move on. I'm going to put a little bit of orangey, reddish. That red, I really started liking perlene maroon. That's what you can, yep, you can see that little corner of perlene maroon. I'm going to add just the tiniest bit of bumblebee to it. And I'm not sure what this red stuff is right here, but I'm going to put something red here. And then I'm going to put something red here too. And then I'm just going to put a splash of red there, not even knowing what it could might be. What's that blob of white by the uh, in the front of the boat there. That thing? Yeah, what is that? I don't know. But it's a... Um, it, uh, I don't know what it does. It may, does it attach the main mass? I'm just going to fill it in with these colors with the shadow and a little bit of brown down the middle or darkish blue. It's and like a light. You guys know what it is? Do we need to get Clayton here? He can tell us all what these things are. It's just another thing. Yeah, it's just a thing. 
So now it looks like a thing, more like a thing. We don't really know exactly what it is. I think I need to get the uh, shadow in the windows in on the cabin and that will help and it'll almost be done. So. Now I kind of regret putting that little red spot there. I don't know what it is. Okay, so that's the cabin and it has little windows. Dry it. I think that helps a little. And mm, what's in here? I think I'm going to, there's a little floating thing right here. I'm going to paint that next. It's got a nice, so it's just all this dark, almost every one of these colors is French and burnt sienna in different amounts different. So if it needs to be browner, I put more burnt sienna. If it needs to be bluer, I put more French ultramarine. So this little piece right here is sort of brown. A little floaty thing. And it has a little white thing there. And then it's got stuff. So. <laughs> and now I'm going to make a little reflection in the water. That. Here. Now that you've done this small boat and it's in there and everything, what would you think of leaving it out next time? Do what, Terry? The boat that's next to the real sailboat. What would you think of leaving that boat out next time? I would, if you can leave it out, anything you want. I know, but what would you think? That would well, see, see what I what I think is fascinating is all the stuff. Hmm. So for me, the just all the stuff is what's what's intriguing to me. So I want to put it in. I think if I the one thing I would might do is do a painting that had the boat behind it and the boat in front of it, and just do a whole bunch of boats, and then it would just be really like the sailboats out there at the harbor. So this one, I'm going to try to figure out what's going on in this little area in here. So, it, you, you know, that's the thing about painting is it's a million tiny decisions, big, small. So all the time you're deciding what you want to paint, what you want to leave in, what you want to emphasize, where it goes, your composition. It's just, it's decision after decision after decision. And when you are painting your own painting and not doing one that I've done, then you get to make all those decisions. Yeah, please, <laughs> I got a telephone call, so okay. I'll be momentarily gone. All right. All right. Thank you very much for being persistent. <laughs> hey. Hey, here I am. I, good. I just, How are you, Terry? I'm okay, and you, but I really appreciate your persistence. Oh, well, I'm sitting here at the forest. So, Terry, I, I think, um, Terry, can you mute yourself? You can mute her if you want. Excuse me a second. I they want me to mute me, so I'll work on this. Just a second. Yep, I can do it. Because you don't want to be on YouTube, you and your friend. <laughs> okay.
I muted, but it doesn't mute. Are you on a Zoom call? Yeah, it's okay. Um, I'm on my painting class, but we were just about to wind down, and I'll move to a different place so we can't hear. When I muted, it doesn't hear. <laughs> well, that's very interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Oh, there she is. Oh, okay, you guys. I I mute her, muted her. You were right. I could do it myself. Okay, good. <laughs> Learning. Okay, so this. So I'm just really studying this picture here and trying to see what things are, and filling them in. There's a little blue spot right there. I'm just going to paint with a little water. And it looks like there's a, you guys still with me? All bored to death? Not bored. Not bored. Is it going? Okay. I don't really know what that is, but I'm just painting shapes. There's something yellow right there. It's grabbing a tiny dab of yellow. I'm just going to put a bit of yellow right there and then let it reflect down there a little bit. Kind of this bright blue I'm using is cerulean. Yes. My cerulean is that one right there. Yeah. So there's a, a little bit of bright blue right there where my I'm pointing to in the picture. And that's what I'm going to try to paint with the cerulean right here. Like I said, I'm not sure what it is. I'm just kind of filling in a jigsaw puzzle. And when it's all done, maybe it'll look like a boat. So that sounds like Dolores' dog. I'm sorry about that, Stella. I can oh. even tell the dog now. That's so cute. thing here just needs a few little lines. This shadow right here kind of stops, so I think I need to just Fill that in a little bit so it looks like the boat there. Smudge that, smudge that. There, I think it's looking like a bunch of stuff. Beautiful. A boat with a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna go into the breakwater just a little bit with a really dark sepia. 
that I'm making myself. So again, that's French ultramarine blue and burnt sienna. A lot of pigment. And I'm just going to try to make it look like these are a bunch of rocks. Right next to the water is darker, but I want to leave some highlights. So I'm just making little angles. In general, I'd say that the shadowed side of these rocks is on the right side and the bottom. So I'm kind of leaving the left side lighter. Don't want to get too confused with the mast. Okay, I'm, I am tempted just to put in like a little horizon line in there, just where it's catching above and in between in here. I think that will actually add to it. So I'm going to give that a try. I'm going to use mostly Antwerp blue for that horizon line. I want it to have a green, a little bit of a green tint to it. I'm going to try it with a little bit of the, yeah, there we go. That's what I want. So what that is, is it's Antwerp with a little bit of the homemade sepia. It's that puddle where I'm pointing to with my brush, that tiny little spot there. And what I'm going to do is try to not, I, I don't want it too high. It's just going to peek in and out of these rocks. It's going to disappear. You can even put a little piece of tape down and that would. I don't want it to be bumpy. There, I think you can barely see it, but I'm going to leave it. Okay. I think that painting's done. Lo lovely. Thank you. Very nice. Very, very nice. I'm going to put this on gallery. So did anybody paint? Did you get that big cat done, Chris? Oh, no. I've been painting what, sort of what you've been painting. Oh, OK, good. Let's I see, Penny. Penny's ready. Penny and Chris painted. So go on to go first. OK, Penny. Can you hold it? Okay, Chris. I'm not, I'm not done, but. It's, it's lovely, yeah, you simplified it. Beautiful yeah. birds, beautiful sky. Yeah, really nice. That was the view that I did. Um, okay, let's see yours really, too. I didn't really have the picture. I think that came this morning and I didn't see it. Okay, um, so you, did, you worked from yesterday's. But um, so, yeah. yeah, I just had the back boat and the red boat. I didn't have the boat you were painting. Mm -hmm. That painting is in front of this one. Yeah, so that's the boat behind Clayton's boat, and that was the one that had the good pelican pictures. Mm -hmm. So what I did was, well, I like how you did it. It looks great. That's looks a really, really good great. painting. I may, I may do that myself. That makes a nice painting. Mm -hmm. Really nice. Thank you. I'm going to try the other one now, your other one that you just did. Okay. Are you got, who's going to paint at home? Me. I will, but not right now. Okay. I paint every day one or two pictures. Good. What am I going to do with all of them? I know, that's the problem. I don't know. I sent a lot of the, the littler card size. Yeah. My daughter-in-law is saw something on Facebook where some elderly people in a convalescent home were looking for pen pals. So she asked me if I had any paintings I'd be willing to share. 
and I sent her about 30 of them so she could send a painting in with her little pen pal card. So that'll be nice. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Not my best ones, not the ones I couldn't bear to part with. <laughs> yeah. And I sold a painting yesterday. Tell us about it. Right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn off the recording here. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.